Hi and welcome to another video from DisparRepair.com If you want to add some antifreeze but bought the concentrated liquid you'll see what you'll have to do in order to pour it into the coolant system. So stay tuned. DisparRepair.com Be sure to visit us at our website DisparRepair.com where you can find more useful car and driving tips. For this you won't need anything special, most of these things except the antifreeze you probably already have around the household. All you'll need is a clean 1 liter bottle, you can use a plastic one, a measuring cup and an equal amount of distilled water. About using tap water instead of the distilled one later in the video. For the sake of clarity, antifreeze is considered the concentrated liquid while coolant is considered the diluted one. In this case the antifreeze is in a 1 liter bottle, you may have bought a bigger package but the basic principle is the same as you'll see. Additional accessories are a funnel for easier pouring with less spilling, also if you happen to have a coolant tester it will come in handy which we'll show you later in the video. Before you start pay attention to the mixture ratio. The usual ratio for best results is 1 to 1. In this case that would be 1 liter of water added to 1 liter of antifreeze. But before you start take a look at the antifreeze packaging, there should be a ratio specification and perhaps a recommendation for the mixture. One more very important thing, don't add antifreeze directly into the system. This is a popular shortcut that can easily lead to damaging the water pump or seals in the system. The right thing to do is first mix the antifreeze and then add it into the system. Especially do this if you're going to flush the whole coolant system, not just add some. First pour the antifreeze and then the water, but it doesn't really matter if you do it the other way around. Again, in this case I've added 1 liter of water to 1 liter of antifreeze. For mixing you can use a water bowl instead of a plastic bottle, but this way you can keep the rest of the coolant for later usage. Once you finished pouring, stir the liquid up, if you're using a bottle just shake it around a bit. Before pouring the coolant, if you have the mentioned coolant tester, you can test the coolant and see the exact freezing resistance before you add it to the system. In this case it's nearly minus 35 degrees celsius, which is more than enough. After this, open the coolant bottle on the car and add the coolant. Make sure that the level is between minimum and maximum, don't overfill. If you want to see how to add coolant and do other regular checkups on your car, click on the link to take a look at the video. So as you've seen a simple job that takes only minutes of your time. Besides the right mixture ratio and not adding antifreeze directly into the coolant system, make sure not to mix coolant. The main difference is in the color, in short the different colors mean different coolant formulas. If you mix them you can cause damage to the coolant system or a sludge like substance forming inside the system. So when buying antifreeze buy the same color as the one in the coolant system. Regarding mixing antifreeze manufacturers, the best thing to do is to buy exactly the same one you have in the coolant system. But if that's not possible, make buying the right color a priority. Sometimes you won't have distilled water at hand and the obvious solution is using tap water. Try avoiding this, especially if you're going to flush the whole system, to avoid scale buildup within the system and possible future clogs. To be clear and from personal experience, it won't cause any immediate damage, but in the long run it can. So that's it for this time, I hope this video helps. Please like and subscribe, it's a huge help for what we're doing. Thanks for watching and thanks for your time.